everyone, this is Onyx Angel, and one of the questions that I've gotten on a previous video of mine for downloading and installing MC Command Center was how do you update your mods? It's actually really easy to update MC Command Center, and I'm going to show you guys that today. I tell you guys how to do it, but it's literally the same process. So we're going to go to File Explorer, click on Documents, go to your Electronic Arts folder, Hit the Sims 4, Mods, and we're going to find where we have MC Command Center installed. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find the settings file. I do not want to delete the settings file because if you delete the settings file, it deletes everything. So we're going to do Control, okay, Control A, and then I'm going to hit Control A again on the settings file so this way it does not delete that file and and then i'm gonna just push delete and it deletes all the files that's in there and then we're gonna go to mc command center's website which i will link in the description below and we are gonna go to mc command center now i use both mc command center and mc woohoo i'm gonna just grab both of those files and i'm gonna just drop them in my downloads folder and then I'm going to just open up the zip file. Okay, so for those who are unaware, alright, I'm using WinRAR, which will also be linked in the description below, to extract these. So I'm going to just control A. I never bring this folder in there. And then I'm going to go into, you just go and find the folder. So here's the MC Command Center all modules. Go back into your downloads, open up the woohoo, MC woohoo, and extract that into the same folder as your MC command center. It's really easy to update. It's literally the same process. The only difference is you have to remove your files. I've also been asked this before on my other video on people not having their settings file or their config files. You will not have your config files if this is a fresh download. You there we go now it's all installed but there's one more step that you need to do okay so you're going to go back to your electronic arts the sims 4 but this time you're not going into your mods folder you're actually going to look for i do not have it normally you will have a local thumb cache package file that you will delete apparent the reason why i don't have mine is because after the last time when i I just updated Passionate Romance and I haven't logged in since then. So I deleted mine earlier. So there's nothing for it because I haven't been on the game since then. So there you go. And MC Command Center should be working just fine back in the game. And I'm going to double check to make sure my settings is there. Ta da! Alright, I hope this video helps you guys on installing and updating MC Command Center in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a wonderful evening.